Alrighty, here we are. New week. We have a month and some change until March Madness. And some teams are trying to find their way into the tournament. Some teams, maybe not so much. Maybe they're not getting in. Maybe they're getting in the NIT. Maybe their seasons are coming to an end. You know, once, you know, the regular season and the conference tournaments are over. But who knows? We we still have a long way to get there. And, you know, this week we have some interesting developments. And that is Oklahoma State. As I suspect, they are now ranked. They'll be taking on Kansas tonight. So that's going to be pretty interesting there. Kansas is in a weird position right now to where they need W's. They need W's and they need them now. You know, in order to get back at that Big 12, I don't think they're going to be able to win the Big 12 title this year. It's not going to happen. Not not going to happen. Ohio State has moved up to number four. They have some interesting games this week. One against Maryland. We'll talk about the others in a moment. And Gonzaga is taking on BYU this Monday night. BYU is a little bit tricky. Not, not as tricky as what has happened, you know, throughout the season to Gonzaga as far as, you know, stuff going. But it should be interesting to see what they do there, you know, what the Bulldogs do um, Monday night. Tuesday night, big time matchup, the second matchup between West Virginia, Texas Tech, Miles McBride. We all remember on that first matchup a couple weeks ago, did a damn, damn good job. Really impressed me. And it's a top 15 matchup. Also on Tuesday night, my Longhorns taking on one of the worst teams in conference, Kansas State. Should be able to get through that game pretty easily. It's Kansas State. They're not good this year. Alabama's at number 11. Creighton's down at number 19. Creighton's taking on Georgetown on Tuesday night. Um, again, Georgetown is a little tricky because they beat Villanova. So you got to, you got to, you know, Creighton has got to, you know, get it all, you know, they got to get it all out. Here's the real kicker, Rutgers, Iowa. That's going to be a big one Wednesday night. Big time game right there. That's going to be one hell of a game. I mean, Rutgers has been steadily improving. In fact, they play. It seems like they had played their way out of the field at first, but now they're pretty. Now projections are saying that they're back in the in, in the field, in the field of 68. Pretty interesting stuff. I was following all the way down to number 15. I mean, I don't blame them right now. They don't look like one of the best teams. They don't look like a team that could, you know, make it all the way to the Final Four. Right now, they need to get better on defense, and if they can't do that, I don't know. Um, there's also some other matchups like you know Missouri taking on Ole Miss. Ole Miss is tricky. Georgia taking on Tennessee. Marquette taking on Villanova. He's taking on South Florida. And Virginia taking on Georgia Tech on Wednesday night. Pretty interesting stuff right there. I'm only going to be keeping my eyes on Rutgers, Iowa on Wednesday, though. So, you know. Thursday night. Thursday night is a little interesting too. Again, Gonzaga's playing, you know, they're continuing to get these um, conference games in as much as possible. You know, Wisconsin taking on Nebraska. Nebraska's been not there. I haven't really focused on Nebraska. Minnesota, Purdue, Purdue, still ranked number 24 right now. Pretty fun team out there, the Boilermakers are. And, you know, number. 20 USC, a Pac-12 team is ranked, I know, surprising, right? They're taking on Washington. Washington is not a good team, so I'm expecting USC to just breeze by that game with no problem. Again, Zach's taking on Santa Clara, they're taking on BYU tonight, and I believe they'll be taking on somebody on Saturday. We'll find that out right now. Uh, there's one game that technically uh, that says t- to be determined on here, and that's Northwestern taking on Rutgers. I don't know what I don't know what's gonna happen for Saturday for this game, and you never know. There are games getting canceled left and right, so you never know what's gonna happen. Michigan isn't even playing this week, you know. You don't see Baylor on here at all. There's no Baylor playing this week, you know, because they've pushed the games back. But here's the real problem here: Why is there a top 15 matchup on ESPN Plus? I'm talking about Oklahoma, West Virginia. Both these teams, very good teams, very fun teams to watch. 
and instead, you know, of putting this game on linear TV, you know, you know, you know, maybe you know, actual TVs or something like that, maybe the Big Twelve Network, you know, not 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 a streaming service. I'm gonna, uh, uh, not a streaming service that I have to pay for. I'm talking about an actual television network, you know. Hey, maybe you could change that Longhorn Network, you know, because there's a game on Longhorn Network this week, and that's TCU Texas. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mad. Of course I'm mad. I'm, I'm gonna be mad. I'm, I'm always mad about the fact that there's no Big 12 Network, you know, cutting a deal with ESPN as the devil intended. You know, we, 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 we need a Big 12 Network. This is inexcusable. A top 15 matchup on ESPN+. Plus. Inexcusable. Hopefully they change that. Hopefully they change that game because that is inexcusable. Um, there's some other interesting things going on on Saturday. Michigan State fighting, you know, one of those teams that are fighting for their tournament lives, and they'll be taking on Iowa, you know, on Saturday. Again, you know, Iowa's been inconsistent. Michigan has been even more inconsistent. But, you know, things are looking up. Things are looking up for teams that are trying to go to the tournament. Indiana's also tricky, so Ohio State has to, you know, that'll be the early, that'll be a very early game on 11 a.m., Noon Eastern game for Ohio State. Trace Jackson, you know, and company out there in Indiana. You know, they've been doing a pretty damn good job trying to get themselves to the tournament. They play real tough basketball, you know, out there. And Ohio State has to keep their they have to keep themselves honest. Meanwhile, the ACC is a um, it is weird. It is weird right now. I'll tell you that much. Uh, you got Virginia Tech hanging around on the rankings. Virginia hanging around at number nine, teetering in the rankings and stuff like that. But then you got a big time Big East matchup: at four Central, five Eastern. Villanova, Creighton, two teams that I've been watching, you know, for the past two months. Watched them play has just been a blast. Um, and you know, Villanova's been doing pretty good. You know, they did lose the game last week. So did Creighton. You know, both these teams, you know, trying to keep themselves in pace in the Big East. And again, another team fighting for their play, for their um, tournament lives, that is North Carolina. They'll be taking on Virginia on Saturday. Now, I am looking forward to this game right here against Virginia. It is one of the more interesting games on the docket, I'll tell you that much right now. You know, North Carolina's fighting for playoff lives. You know, I mean, not for their playoff lives. I meant for their tournament lives. And Virginia, they are, they really haven't done anything. <laughs> like, they're at number nine because they are. Because of the, right now. And also on Saturday, again, Gonzaga's taking on San Francisco. So, so that's three games for Gonzaga this week. Meanwhile, for USC on Saturday as well, they'll be taking on Washington State, so that should be interesting. But here's uh, here's something else that's interesting, very fun right there. Loyola, Chicago, taking on the formerly undefeated, formerly ranked at 25, Drake, two days in a row on Saturday and Sunday at 5 p.m. 6 Eastern. And there's also Houston. You know, taking on Memphis on Saturday as well, or rather on Sunday. That would be a Sunday game. But this real kicker right here is Michigan, Wisconsin. Michigan, you know, they've had games canceled left to right, like I said earlier in the video. And, you know, if they're able to get this game against Wisconsin going, you know, Wisconsin's been very inconsistent. Michigan can prove that they, you know, they earned that number three ranking with a win against Wisconsin on Sunday. And, you know, Michigan's a very talented team. Very talented. I've seen these guys play at least once or twice this year. Very talented team. Very fun team to watch. Wisconsin's very inconsistent. Very hard to watch at times. You know, last, you know, what, Saturday, you know, they looked awful from three-point range. And they got to get it together. They got to get it together. They're lucky they're still ranked in the top 25 right now. And there's other teams fighting for their tournament lives as well, you know, like North Carolina. That need to get W's fast. So, you know, we sit, we wait, we wonder, and I am having a blast with this season, despite the fact that COVID is ravaging it. But I'll see you in the next video, everybody.
Take care.